and welcome to a new week of making it work. This is Monday and day one. Okay, the first thing I'm wearing this week is my Anastasia um, of Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in Brunette. And it is a little... Um, it's got some red in it. Let's put it that way. Uh, I, you know, it, it goes on and feels luxurious. The spoolie is soft and it feels good when you put your, your brows on. But it's just the color, after the NYX last week, the color is just not right. But I will use it up because, you know, I can still pull it off. So, <clears throat> excuse me. The next thing is my Ulta Eye Primer. Then I used, um, this week I'm going to use the Tartlet. Um, I was going through my drawer and came across this, and I forgot I even had it. So I thought, well, I've thrown quite a few mascaras away late recently, so I thought I would pull this one out. Um, gotta say, I'm not exactly thrilled with it. Maybe it'll be better as I go during the week. You know, it makes my lashes look fine, but it's clumpy. And that is one thing that I hate. I hate my lashes being clumpy. It, um, if you can see on the end of this spoolie right here, where all the, the mascara is clumped together, if you don't get that off of there and at the top, see? If you don't get that off of there, you got a clumpy mess. And it, it closes kind of weird. Um, I don't know where I got this. I don't remember where. But um, I, I don't think this is probably a true um, description of the full size. You know, because this one here, maybe I got a dud. I don't know. But I'll use it the rest of the week. All right, so for my blush this week, I'm using the Kiko Milanda, Mil Milano Blending Wave Multicolor Blush 02. And this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. But it is a powdery mess. It is so powdery. Um, as you're putting it on, you can just see the cloud around you. Which, you know... I mean, the color is fine. It works. It's just powdery. All right. The next I'm using my Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Peach Lights. This is brand new. Ah, come on here. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? Just so pretty. And it's really pretty on the on the face, too. I don't know if you can see it or not. I can see it as I'm looking in the mirror. Okay. And then for my lipstick, I used the Metallic Liquid Lipstick from Wet n' Wild that Leah gave me. Um, in my two lips are sealed. <laughs> Very cute. And this is what it looks like. It's a little bit... Um, it's more of peachy or a corally color and I didn't really know if I would was gonna love this but once it was on my lips it's very pretty very pretty I like it a lot so um, the only thing that I don't like about these is they really um, gather at the the at the edges of your lips you have to <clears throat> dab at them to get that line away so and you know it's that's true with with regular liquid lipsticks a lot of them I think so otherwise this is a very good liquid lipstick this is the week of liquid lipsticks for me all right and the next thing I'm using this week is my Gwen Stefani palette all right so the first thing I used today was this on my, all over my lid, and then I used this as my um, transition shade, and I used this very light color as my lid color today. 
And I went pretty dark. I tried to get this as dark as I could on my transition or in my crease. So this is what it looks like. Maybe I should have went down a little bit more with my crease color, do you think? So there was just kind of a line of the, the light. Because it's pretty light. All right, guys, that is day one of my making it work. And I hope you're ready for this week. I hate Mondays. <laughs> I actually hate Tuesdays because I get a lot of deliveries on Tuesdays. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye. Good morning, everybody. This is Tuesday and day two of my making it work series. Let's get right into it. Um, today on my eyes, I am using the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay Palette. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me just point out that this looks like one of those old timey just metal um, deals that they screw in and it even looks like screws in here which I doubt that they are but looks that way anyway very pretty palette just a very aesthetically looking palette and it, and it on the mirror I still haven't taken the thing off the mirror but it says magics in the mirror okay for today I wore this on my um, all over my eye for my base I wore this as my um, transition color, crease color. Then I wore this one here with a combination of this one. This one here on my inner third probably. And this one on my outer V today. I just wanted to make a different look. Um, I don't know. I don't think I blended. the This one here is blending near as well as this one did. I don't know. Maybe it looks different to you guys. But um, I kind of like the way it looks. It. I am far from as good at blending as so many of you guys are. But I try. And I, I wanted it, you know, it just... That comment the other day that all of my eye looks look the same really got me to thinking do they do most of my eye looks look the same to you guys are you getting bored um, what should I do to liven things up or you know is it just the same old same old every day are you getting tired of these please let me know in the comments I would love to hear your comments on this um, is there something you'd like me to try? Now, I'm not going to do foundation or any of that kind of stuff, concealer, or any of that kind of stuff on my work days. This is the most makeup I'm going to wear. But um, is there something else you'd like me to try? It. I just thought this, you know, there aren't a ton of different looks in this. I, I'm going to have trouble finding six looks unless I do this. So... I kind of like the way it looks. Uh, I'm hoping you guys do too. And let me know what you think. Okay, for my lipstick today, I wore... Um, it's a liquid lipstick kind of week. I'm wearing the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in 09. And there is no name. It's just LSCL09. And it is a uh, mauve pink color. Very pretty, very pretty. It went matte really fast, actually. Um, liquid lipstick, I, I am not totally a fan of liquid lipstick because it's easier to clean up stick liquid, you know what I mean? Or, you know, lipstick in a tube. But this really looks pretty on my lips. And so far, it does not feel drying. It's totally matte. It it didn't take any time at all for it to go down to matte. So, okay. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good morning. This is Connie. And welcome to Wednesday edition of my Making It Work series. Let's get started right away. For my eyes this week, I'm using the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. And today, I used this for my base this for my crease and I used this whoops this one for um, my lid and then 
I doubled up on this one at first. Um, put some in my crease and put some above my crease, a little bit above my crease. And then I went in with this on my eyelid. And then I went over it um, in my crease again with this. So it makes the crease look darker. And, the, and I really like the way it looks. Um, you know, since I'm using a really light color on my lid, it makes it pop a little bit more in my opinion let me know what you think um, I really like the way it looks today so you know it it's better you know if you use a really light color then you need to kind of use a darker color to offset it in my opinion um, let me know what you think I'm running out of options kind of I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of the week to tell you the honest truth so because I've got that blue that I want to incorporate. I've got that pink I want to incorporate. And the blue I'm really scared of. <laughs> okay, for my lips today, I use the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in this color. And I absolutely love it. Revlon really pulled a smart move by putting the names of the products on the peel-off label. Not on the actual container. Really smart move there, Revlon. Because you peel off the label because the label is over here to, you know, to hold it. So you peel off the label without realizing and you don't know what the name is called. So I don't know what this is. But it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love this color. And they feel good on the lips. Um, yesterday, let me tell you a little bit while it's fresh in my mind, let me tell you a little bit about the NYX um, lip color that I wore yesterday, the Liquid Suede in uh, 09. It looked really pretty. It matted down almost immediately. I mean, it really matted down fast. And it lasted pretty good. It, there was actually some on my lips after I ate. It, you know, the ins inside of my lips were... Um, you know, I didn't look real close because I was busy yesterday afternoon. We have what's called Dakota Fest going on. It's like a farm and tractor. You know, I live in a rural area. So it was kind of like a farm and tractor. Um, big. It's a it's a big thing. They come from all over um, the, the outside states and from South Dakota to this. It's a big show. It's a far... You know, it shows all the new equipment, all this kind of stuff. They sell stuff all that. Anyway, I was busy yesterday afternoon, so I didn't get a chance. I wanted to go into the bathroom and look under those lights, which none of our lights are good in that place. But um, the inside inner lip was gone, you know, but it still had some on the outside. And so I'll let you know what this was like after today. And it's it's not matted down. It does it does say matte lip color. And it is not matted down. If you can see that, it is still wet. Ah, I spit. <laughs> um, the outer edges are still shiny. Right here, it's matte. That's the only place it's matte. Otherwise, it is still shiny. But it's such... This is an absolutely gorgeous color. I love, love, love this this color. This is the kind of pink I like. So anyway, that is my makeup for today, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. everybody. Welcome to day four, <laughs> I forget, of my Making It Work Challenge. Let's get right into this. Um, using the Gwen Stefani by Urban K this week. Urban K. Urban DK this week. I My mind is elsewhere this morning. All right. I use this as my base as usual. I use this as my um, transition. And I feel that it's really uneven. And I tried to do something about it. And I think it's because this eye is kind of uneven, you know, with the scars and stuff that I have. Then I used this on my lid. And I need to tell you that and see if anybody else has this problem. This is a glitter bomb. And it is so powdery, this one. So for to be able to use 
all the ones I wanted to use. I used this as a, like a corner liner today, this blue. Because I just can't use it on my lids. I just can't. It's too dark. It's just not me. So, anyway, this is my eye look. And I just feel, and I think I got this a little bit darker. And I cannot get it where it looks right. It probably won't be on long anyway because I sweat. So, but I got to tell you, I used, what did I do with it now? Used, it's dirty now, but this little Wet n Wild liner, la, liner brush, and it is awesome. I'm going to get me some more of these. I really, really like it. Okay, and for my lipstick today, I used the ColourPop Ultra Matte in Lumiere 2. And that is what it looks like. And the color is absolutely stunning. But I tell you what, you better not um, mess around with this because it dries almost instantaneously. You don't want to make any mistakes with this stuff. Believe me. Um, and it feels a little bit dry on my lips. What do you guys think? This is so far. I will see how it lasts during the day. This here is what, let's see, what did I wear yesterday? This one here is what I wore yesterday. And it lasted wonderfully until I ate. And then um, I just had a little bit around the rim of my lips is all after I ate. So this does not last through meals. And it, it transfers terrible. Um, I drank, I have a great big water jug that I drank out of um, with ice, ice water every, all day long. And um, it has a straw. And this transferred really bad under the straw. So anyway, I will let you know tomorrow how this was, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. And welcome to Friday's edition of Making It Work. Let's get started. Today I am wearing the, as usual, all week, Urban Decay's Gwen Stefani. Probably getting tired of me saying that. But here we go. I use this as my trans or my base color. Um, I would use the other ones, but they're too shimmery. Then I used this color for my base and for my lid. And then I used this in um, my crease, or in the outer V, and then into my crease today. And I used, I actually used this on my bottom lash, but you can't even see it. It's so light. All right, for my lips today, I used the tardiest lip paint in TBT. It's just a sample size. Very hard to control. Um, if you make a mistake, it's very hard to clean up. Let's put it that way. Um, that's my problem with it. it. It's a beautiful color. I love the color. But um, what do you think of my really dark eye look? Going, <laughs> I will see you tomorrow in the last day of the week for our Making It Work and stay tuned to the end of that day of this video for an announcement. I'm Bye -bye. very sorry. I forgot to tell you about my lipstick yesterday. I'm trying to do this every day to, to let you know how they worked. This um, I thought was going to be very drying. Didn't even hardly know it was on my lips. It was still there at the end of my work day. So I put it on at uh, 10 o'clock yesterday morning, took it, or when I got home at about 5.30, most of it was still there. There was, you know, the insides of my lips were gone because of eating and stuff, but the outsides were like I'd never even touched them. So it was, this is a pretty good for staying on your lips. Like I said, it was gone on the inside, but otherwise um, not bad not dry feeling. I thought it was going to be, but it really wasn't at all. Good morning, so. everybody, and welcome to Saturday, the last day of my making it work in this week. And stay tuned till the end for a surprise. Let's get into this. What I wore this week. Uh, the first thing I wore was the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, 
brow mascara in brunette and it I'm I'm not gonna say that this is brunette I think this is more blondish red um, I'm getting used to it I love the formula love 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 the formula of this it goes on like a breeze this is probably the easiest formula I own so if you're interested in this you know look at the color this is more of a reddish blondish light brown I would like one shade I would like the you know I've had my hair red and I love love red but um, I don't know you know and I'll continue to use this because I love it but I will be buying you know someday a different the next darker shade in this because I don't think this is a true brunette all right the next thing I used was my Ulta eye primer you guys know I love this next thing I used was um, the tardiest mascara I'm not happy with this whatsoever. Now, that being said, it do, it did makes my lashes look really pretty, but it is so clumpy, and that is one of my my things. I don't like clumpy mascara. And I want to show you something. When I, at the end of the day, after I'm done using this, I go like this around the edge, and look at that. When I, now I'm going to have to do it again, but um, if, if you can see that, how clumpy that looks. I have to do this, and I have to do this. This is why it gets on the outside. Because it clumps around the bottom here, and it clumps around the top. I, you know, anybody that owns this and owns a full size of this, tell me if it does the same thing. Because I will never purchase this. I don't like it whatsoever. Although I will probably use it till it's gone because I just do that with mascaras or until they dry up. Um, okay, highlighter this week. Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Peach Lights. And this is new. I just, this is the first week I've used this. Isn't that beautiful? I love the packaging. I, you know, I just love that color. I just think it's so pretty. It is um, not, not in your face. You have to, if you want it in your face, you can build it up. It's definitely buildable. And it's beautiful. But it's not one that's just, it, it's kind of what I, I want um, for work. It is just, you can see that little bit of a glow to your cheeks. Just a little glow. It's not in your face. It's beautiful, though. I'm happy with it. My so. blush is Kiko Cosmetics um, Number 2 Blending Wave Multicolor Blush. And that's what it's called, is number two. This is the packaging. It's very cute. And this is the blush. And it is a pretty blush. You can see it on my cheeks. It's very pretty. It is a powder bomb, though. Um, whenever you put it on, if you don't knock the powder off, it's just flying everywhere. So just be aware. It's But it's a beautiful blush. I do love it. You just have to be careful. So then I use the Urban Decay. Um, oh, and I wanted to show you. Um, all week... This is my favorite, favorite kind of brush is Real Techniques. Now these are dirty because I use them. I use them every single week, but then I wash them on Sundays, um, and then I use them again during my week, and I just clean them off in between. This is my blush brush from Real Techniques, and this I use as my highlighter. It's one of their gold series, and then today I used this one for my uh, transition oh my god I this is my new favorite transition brush it, it yeah. says it's a shadow brush let me see what this says I don't have my glasses on domed shadow brush 
And this, I use this as my transition and crease, and I okay, love so it. So then I used my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani. Beautiful packaging. Used this as my crease, or this is my base today. This is my crease, as usual, or transition and crease. And this has got to be one of my favorite of all time. And then today I used the gold as my lid color. Now, these, these shadows are wonderful. There's not a lot of glitter. A little bit of glitter on um, a few of the colors. Not many, though. But they are so pigmented and so buttery and and just great. You know, if you, you guys are a fan of Urban Decay, I would go for this. This was $25 on their... On, I went to Urban Decay's website because um, something else I wanted was out of stock at Ulta. So I went to their website and they were on sale there. This is $25 and it is so worth it. Okay, lipstick today. I used my Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie. Now, is this supposed to be a gloss or is it supposed to be a lipstick? I am not sure. It's in the color Stunner, which is beautiful. But it is really shiny, like a gloss. Um, as I was putting it on, it was sticky. But it doesn't feel sticky right now. I can feel it on my lips, though. There's almost like a, a cooling sensation. I don't know why, why, but that's kind of what my lips feel like. <laughs> anyway, um, this is pretty. Yesterday, I used... Use the tardiest, I've, I've been telling you about these every week, or every day, the tardiest um, lip paint in TBT, I think. And that was this color. It was a beautiful color. It did not last through my dinner, though. Um, this one, the color pop, was my one that lasted the longest all week. So this was the week of the... the um, liquid lips <laughs> and they are gorgeous I love them all and you can tell you can see a theme here what my favorites are so anyway um, wanted to tell you about my little surprise from now on every single week I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on my making it work series I'm gonna add, I'm gonna say something in my videos and so you're going to have to watch the whole video in order to um, win this giveaway. And if you unsubscribe after you win, there will be no, no more subscribing. Um, that's just the way it is. So anyway, what the prize is this week. The way it's going to work is I'm going to ask you a question. The question for this week, I'm going to make it real simple. What is my favorite makeup brushes? And I want you to tell me the three that are my favorite. Okay. And one, the, the rules to this are you must be subscribed. You can only enter once. So answer the question one time. That's it. That is it. Um, you have to be 18 in order to enter these um, giveaways. Also, or six, 18. I'm going to say 18. A lot of people do the 16. I'm going to go with um, you need to be 18 because I'm 60 years old. Come on. You have to be 18. So the prize for this week is Wet n Wild by Fergie Lipstick. And it is in the color, it's just a perfect pout lip color. Um, A034, and that's all I see, but I'll get it up close so you can kind of see. It's kind of a, uh, looks like a nudie, mauve color, like something I would like. <laughs> all right, so that is the prize for this week. I will, next Monday, I will tell you the winner, and I will show you another prize. So make sure that you tell me um, which brushes are my favorite. And all you have to do is, like, say, um, 
powder brush or you know whatever but I want three brushes listed okay I will see you next week and making it work